Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss AOSTAR search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple solved example. This is the solved example number two. The link for other example is given in the description below. AOSTAR search algorithm is one of the heuristic search algorithm in artificial intelligence. In AOSTAR search algorithm, we divide the complex problem into small, small problems and then uh, we will solve those particular small problems so that we can achieve or solve the complex problem in this particular case. In AOSTAR algorithm, we use this particular equation that is uh, f of n is equal to g of n plus uh, h of n. Here g of n is the actual cost to travel from the initial node to the nth node and h of n is the heuristic value that is uh, the value to reach from nth node to the goal node in this case. So to understand this equation, I will consider this particular graph. Uh, the number which is written on the top of this particular node that is uh, 5. Uh, this particular 5 indicates the heuristic value of this particular node that is the probable distance to reach from this particular node G to the goal node in this case. And this particular value 1 that is the actual cost to reach from initial node to this particular g over here that is nothing but a g g value in this case so with the help of this particular equation we calculate the f of n based on this particular f of n we will decide what particular path to select at a given point of time over here to understand uh, this uh, aostar search algorithm uh, i will consider this particular uh, graph in this case uh, this particular graph has some uh, multiple number of uh, nodes over here and the uh, end of the day we need to uh, traverse this particular uh, graph and then uh, solve this particular pro com complex problem over here. Now, if you consider this particular node A, at this particular point of time, we have multiple number of paths. The one path is towards this particular D and another path is towards B and C. Why this particular path will be considered as one is, you can see here, this is the end part of this particular graph. That is, if you want to achieve this particular A, you have to achieve both B and C in this case. So between these two paths, we need to select one path which is optimal at this particular point of time and then we need to continue from there onwards. So if, now if we consider this particular path that is uh, A to D, that is F of A D we need to calculate. That is F of A D is equal to uh, that is uh, 1 that is the actual cost plus this particular 10 that is a heuristic value. That will become the 11 in this particular case. Now, uh, this particular side it is 11 and we will try to calculate this side also that is F A B C in this case that is equivalent to 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 12. So, that is equivalent to 20 in this particular case. So, the right hand side we got uh, you can say that 11 and the left hand side we got 20 here. So, between these two this particular path is the smallest uh, valued path over here. So, at this point of time better to select this particular path that is F of A to D in this case. Now, once you select this particular path, now we will get this particular part of the problem. This particular part of the problem is the uh, sub problem of this entire problem. Once you solve this particular thing, you need to propagate the solution back to here and then you will be able to solve this particular A in this case. So, what we do is uh, we will try to calculate the path from D now. So, how many paths are there out of those particular paths, which one is the optimal and so on. Now, if you see this particular D, we have only one path because this is again an and uh, over here. So, because of that to achieve this particular D, we have to achieve first E and then we need to achieve this particular F over here. So, for that reason, uh, first what we do is uh, we will calculate F of A D to E F here. That is nothing but uh, 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 that is equivalent to 10 in this case. So, we will get 10 that is already uh, the same value we have on this particular D. So, there is no need to replace this particular thing. But when we have 10 over here, we need to propagate this particular thing backwards. So, now once you back, propagate it backwards, we will get again 1 plus 10 which is equal to 11. So, there is no need to change this particular 11 also. At the same time, from this particular E and F, we don't have any further nodes and we have not reached this particular goal also. That is, uh, if a particular uh, node has uh, 0 as the heuristic value, the meaning is uh, we have solved that particular path or a problem. Right now, we don't have 0 on E and F over here. The meaning is this particular path will not give you the solution over here. Of course, at this particular node A, we have the smallest uh, uh, cost path is this one, but uh, we didn't got the solution over here or we are not able to solve this particular A here. 
So that is the reason what we do is we will consider another path. This particular path is having more cost, but we will try to get the solution at least over here. So that's the reason we will try to solve this particular path now. Now, if you try to solve this particular path, that is uh, F A B C. So first we will uh, start from B. Now, when you start from this particular B, there are two possibilities. Either you can go towards G or you can go towards H in this particular case. So now if you go towards this particular G, F of BG is equal to 1 plus 5, that is 6 here. And uh, when you go towards this particular thing, F of BH is equal to 1 plus 7, that is 8 here. So this side it is 6 and this side it is 8. Between these two, 6 is the better option over here. So uh, when you get this particular 6 here, uh, we will propagate it back or else first we will try to go to this particular next level. Now, uh, when you select this particular G, there is only one path that is uh, G to I over here. That is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 in this particular case here. Now, when you get this particular 2, uh, because uh, this particular 2 we have calculated, it has to be propagated back over here. This particular uh, 5 will be replaced by uh, 2 in this case. And then this uh, particular 6 will be, prop 2 will be propagated back and this particular 6 will be re uh, replaced by 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 in this case. Again, this particular 3 will be propagated back in this case. So once you propagate it back, 3 plus 1, it will become 4 over here. But if you want to solve this particular A, we have to solve this also. So that's the reason. First, we will try to solve C here. Now, when you solve this particular C, there is only one uh, path that is C to J over here. So the value of this particular thing is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2 here. And uh, when you get this particular 2, we will propagate it back again. So once you propagate it back, uh, this particular 12 will be replaced by 2 in this case. Now, if you look at this one, that is uh, B and C, the value of B is 3, that is a heuristic value. The heuristic value of C is 2. And these two things should be propagated back because when you solve B and C, you will be able to solve this particular A here. Now, that is nothing but uh, 3 plus 1, 4, 2 plus uh, uh, 1, that is 3, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 here. So, this 20 will be replaced by this 7 in this case. And one more thing you can notice here, none of these particular, uh, the uh, leaf nodes or you can say that the terminals does not have 0 on the as the heuristic value. The meaning is, uh, again, we are not able to solve this particular, uh, the problem over here. Because uh, if we have 0 here, we would have solved this particular thing. If this is solved, we would have propagated that particular solved as a backwards. And the same thing would have been happened over here. But right now, uh, none of these particular thing, that is i and j, both of them does not have 0 as the value here. The meaning is we are not able to solve this particular problem by following this particular path also in this case. So in this case, uh, we have seen an example where uh, uh, we are not able to solve that particular problem by traversing the entire graph. In this video, I have explained how to apply Avastar search algorithm for a given uh, graph to find or to uh, solve a particular problem over here. I hope this particular concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.